it has done for me. It goes into your downloads. Wonderful. Um, so okay. I'll, I, I have a timer. Uh, the only thing I, I, I wasn't able to do is set it to 11 minutes. So instead it sets to 15. But once I start, it counts down. And then every minute will just like, you know, bing. And then we can start with one minute of meditation. And um, on sovereignty, would you like to go first? You have some, some thoughts you feel like sharing? Um, not, not burning. No, I'd be happy to go second. Okay, then I'll go first. Um, okay, great. Cool. So Thanks. I'm starting the timer now. Yeah, sovereignty for me, the sense that speaks to me is really kind of letting my life energy into the world and engaging with the energy that comes back, but having a sense of lack of external boundaries where other people artificially create these barriers and instead there's much more sense of knowing where i want my energy to flow and directing my energy into the space together with the people that are there and feeling their sovereignty and it is this engaging process of experience shared experience mm. there's a curiosity building about the interplay of energy and personal experience and and uh, I suppose boundaries as well as the collective need for, um, sorry, <laughs> sorry to say interrupted. <laughs> um, yeah, how to do, how to do that interchange in a way that is respectful of other people's needs and variations. Is that the bell for one minute? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so like the importance of respect, of really sensing where the other person's boundaries are and to direct my energy in a much more loving way around those boundaries and to playfully engage with them but not to impose not to stifle not to dominate and equally and this is then the sense of sovereignty not to be dominated from the outside not to feel stifled not to feel limited artificially limited by restrictions that especially no one benefits from. Uh, there's a reminder in my mind of a conversation around um, the realities of this world that make sovereignty 
slippery. And that's, you know, the structural inequities and in race and gender and uh, a picture starts to grow of, of the challenges that we face from being within game A and trying to be sovereign within game A whilst other people are being played and playing different games and have different interpretations. Thank you. Yeah, so like the limitations placed by the shared unspoken understanding of the players of game A, who gets to express their sovereignty? Who has to stay silent? Who gets to dominate? Who needs to serve? Mm. And how much limitation this places on life, on energy flow, on the love we can express, on the care we can have for one another. Because we're so much told, oh, don't care for this person because like they have to take care of themselves. And, but they don't have the sovereignty. The system denies them the sovereignty. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to find language to help me avoid I. <laughs> Go for it. Like what so disruptive to my no. where my brain wants to go. No, I mean I mean go for I if you please. I'm stuck. I'm thinking about um the world you're describing and where my tr truth meets what you're describing about, you know, what I believe is human nature and what I believe is 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 our unique our innate sovereignty that's our rights you know our, our right is to have that freedom and the challenge i suppose you know and here we are in the loop is how to get there in a way that feels more sovereign in a way that feels fair and how much of that being stuck with the lack of sovereignty, how much of that is a shared belief of being stuck? And how much of that is truly the experience of running against walls? For me, and I'm using I here now, is yeah, like I could in so many situations break out of that cage. And I, just because I follow the sheep, the herd belief, no, I can't. It's not my place to say something. It's not my place to do something. I am limiting my own sovereignty. Phew. Mm. And there is no separation between you and the game and you and the people that you're playing with, you know. There is no responsibility to be landed in any one place. And that's what makes it slippy. Is that we're used to hierarchy and we're used to knowing where the power lies and doesn't lie. And when we recognize that things are much more complex, then it's slippy to know where to begin to create new games. And the idea of self starting, you know, reflecting on where I intersect with that is appealing. Uh, where to start? And it almost feels like the energy behind it, the, 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 what wants to break free, what wants to break out of this cage is 
almost best expressed by the words, let me out, and to find that energy in other people and to really s stir in them mm. the desire to break out of that cage. Aren't you tired? Aren't you just as fed up? Aren't you just as bored and disgusted and please let's break out together. Let's find our shared sovereignty and play a different game. Mm. There's a book that had huge influence on many think people, you know, people who think about these things and um, which you've probably heard of um, called Ishmael. You come across that one? Only and, by uh, other people telling and uh, the author talks about breaking out of the cage and, and the past attempts of society to do that, for example, in the 60s and other revolutions, and how part of what failed or what didn't create an entirely new game was that people didn't recognize what the bars of the cage were made from and how to... Um, how to perceive them differently and how to understand to to work with them and how to you know how to be with how to understand the cage and i find it interesting and i think that was five turns each oh thank you <laughs> yeah i really sense now like i'm i'm, I'm certainly sensing like a shared understanding somewhere in the space between us. And this is, it's, it feels good. Mm. Mm. That's interesting to be reflecting on the, the sense of the shared space that didn't happen in my last pair because that was my first pair, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, it do, I'm sure that doesn't always happen. I'm sure there's lots of times where it's a lots of misses or lots of, you know, further inquiries into trying to make sense of things. <laughs> yeah, I guess part of it is really this, that the space that is made or like, like you know, like filled with the glass beads um it's not predefined and so um it, it 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 can go in any direction including in not the same direction <laughs> cool must be fascinating um so i presume that we're like called more or less into the main room again. So I'll stop recording for now. And the way yep. that Jen explained it will create the file. It's the files at the end in, in the folder. So um, did, it, did it say that? Did it just flash up when you press stop on the recording? It, you I, should I, get have, it. 